Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another, um, fun Friday for everyone. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, give me a few. Ah, okay. So this is our topic for today. A new Google tool will tell you if your password has been hacked. Yeah, right. Mm. Probably they actually know what what our passwords are. <laughs> definitely access it. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me about this. Mm. Uh, what what is this uh, tool about? Mm. Uh, this new tool is enhance uh, users' privacy across Google's products uh, because there are a lot of tools in Google like Google Maps or YouTube history or uh, incognito, incognito mode so they enhance their privacy uh, prote protection securities mm -hmm. and we can use that new tool mm -hmm. Uh, the, oh, tool, the new okay. tool is, yeah, password man and that is a, a Google's password word manager. It, uh, uh, it, inclu it includes uh, the feature in its password manager app. And it mm -hmm. manages our password. Oh, okay. Mm. So is this is this for free? Or yeah, do yeah. Do we have to pay for this app? Oh, free. Oh yeah, mm. Google's yeah. Every functions are all free. Mm -mm. Basic basic functions. Mm -mm. Although I I have a I have a question. Uh, normally, if we get some free apps or free applications or tools or whatever that is. Um, normally, if it's for free, then the um, uh, the benefits or the uh, functions of a particular tool will be limited. Mm. Do they also have like a paid tool? Yeah, for yeah. Ah, for this, I don't. I'm not sure because I I I didn't try this new uh, function yet. Uh, some functions like email uh, 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 save storage they have uh, extra yeah uh, additional cost uh, uh, the more cost the more Mm -hmm. uh, capac storage capacity. We can have yeah the more storage cap capacity. Mm -hmm. So, are you planning to um, use this uh, type of Google tool? Uh, yeah, I will try. And actually, in my company, uh, even I am, even I am. Uh, I took a leave from my work, but my company uses email uh, based on Google. So yeah, I keep using the Google account and Drive. Mm -hmm. Because I think um, nowadays people people are really fond of using uh, Google. Even for mails mm. and other things, because Google, um, Google keeps on evolving. You know? Yeah, they have a lot of um features that they put in, and it's for free, mm. basically. So people would take advantage of that. Mm. Yeah, especially. Before, mm. Uh, mm -hmm. especially uh, my boss both love Google a lot, so he. Uh, uh, he always 
introduce the new function of Google. So yeah, I heard about a lot from my boss about Google, and yeah, they have yeah been evolving gradually. Mm. In Korea, is Google that popular? Mm. Uh, Compared with uh, neighbor? Uh, no, I don't think so. But these days, um, uh, I think a neighbor is more popular in Korea. But many people use Google Map, or especially they are go abroad. They go abroad, and uh, many people use Google Photo and Drive. So mm -mm. we normally use Neighbor as a search engine, but other function, uh, other function, um, Neighbor don't have. We uh, usually use Google. Everything is evolving. Um, question: Did they also um, stated in this article that there might be a catch if you will use their tool, or you will have it as like an extension in your Chrome? Mm. Uh, you mean uh, can Google know our password or Chrome password? Like, uh, there will be a, a catch, for example, um, um, if you're going to use this for free, then uh, you might lose some of your contacts, uh, you won't be able to access this particular site, or there are specific sites that you cannot use this tool for, tool for there. So like there are some websites that, um, or this is the tool will not be applic uh, applicable to some websites. Mm. I I can understand your question. Oh, like um, is this tool mm. applicable to any website? Ah, uh, any website? I don't think so. Uh, it uh, it is limited in Google. I don't know. I'm not sure because I don't use yet. But I will try. Yeah, after the class. I what I actually use is um incognito. Mm -hmm. Um, it basically not um saved anything. Mm -mm. And uh, you know that there are a lot of, uh, a lot of um, extensions that we can download from Chrome itself. Mm. They have a lot of applications, basically, or tools. Mm. It says here uh, that uh, later this year, it will build the uh, password checkup technology right into Chrome. Mm. So you can get real-time protection as you have a password. Mm. So... Uh, in the next few months, we'll be needing to update our um, Chrome mm. or our browsing, which is Chrome, mm. so that it will be updated or it um, it will have this build, yeah. this password checkup. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I used to have different. Uh, I used to have similar password or the same password for different accounts. So uh, for me, it's uh, good use. Mm -mm. And but I think they they remember my password through this app. So. I yeah I'm afraid of uh, 
Ah, no, no. I don't think so. Okay. Well, what do you think? Uh, do you, can you think of some disadvantages that this could bring to people when they use this? Uh, actually, um, why uh, the reason why I don't use the different passwords for a different account? Uh, I it's hard to remember the different password, a lot of different passwords. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I can remember the password, uh, I want to use that function. But if we can use that function in Google, a uh, new, new tool in, in Google, um, I'm afraid of they, uh, I'm afraid that they remember my password or <laughs> account. Actually, you know, there, there are rumors. I'm not sure whether it's a, it's a rumor at all, but once you're using um, any, any applications, any website that is affiliated with Google, basically mm. they can access all your contacts, your emails, even your password. No, it, it, it's, it's true. It, it is not, not rumor. It's true because I have an experience about that. that. Uh, mm -hmm. Because my um, husband, YouTube husband has YouTube Premium membership, so he pay uh, around ten dollars a month. So it uh, provide YouTube a lot of uh, uh, extra functions. So when I want to use uh, try to use that function. So uh, once I logged in through my husband's account, and after that I can uh, open his uh, email, his calendar, his yeah, a lot of his other account of sites, even if I don't want to. So after I logged logged uh, in his uh, YouTube account, I opened his other site account. Mm -hmm. So it is connected at other uh, sites. Mm -hmm. So I think it is very susceptible uh, susceptible to hacking or to protecting our privacy or personal information. Mm -hmm. So I always have this uh, curious or uh, afraid, uh, afraid uh, worries about the, uh, my information. Uh, Hacked or hacked or yeah. Uh, so after I read, read this art article, I was yeah wonder about their uh, security. It's like people doesn't really have a choice but to use Chrome mm. anyway, mm. <laughs> right? Mm. Because it's uh, it's basically the, the most powerful um, search engine on, mm. that we can find online. Mm. Although there are some some you know small time um, search engine that we can find online. However, it's not that um, reliable mm. and secured as well. Mm. It's like people already accepted that, uh, you know, there are disadvantages, mm. basically, but there are more, um, it, it's um, more beneficial for people there. Mm. Okay. Mm. And 
question. Um, in in Korea, is hacking a serious issue? Mm. Like identity, identity theft. Um, I'm not sure because I don't uh, live in uh, Korea, but uh, yes, I think so. Because hacking programs are getting stronger and hacking techniques have evolved over the year. So these days and these days search histories and user patterns are all recorded permanently online. So I, yeah, I think it's a serious issue in my country. Mm. Uh, have you been a victim of identity theft? Uh, yes, or eight. <laughs> really? Because Why? I have, uh, it, it is not a big, uh, it is not a big problem. It, problem but I as I think you you experienced already uh, mm, I receive a lot of spam mail or uh, spam text from the number what I don't know. I think it's um, personal. Your <laughs> yeah, my personal information has been lacked quite often. Mm -hmm. And these days, information of users is used without their consent. So yeah, in yeah, in some cases, massive amount of customer data were hacked by hackers or a few years ago the Facebook has the, uh, this kind of pro problem yes, if I yeah, so remember correctly mm. Mm. Okay. so I think law, uh, lawmakers should try to make laws about the pro protecting in personal information or Hacking. Mm, I think so too. Mm. But then they would have to uh, somehow they would have to give time to focus on that because mm. on uh, I mean internet is like a different world. Mm. Anyone can make a anyone can make their own website that people would you know that people would want to use. Mm. So that would be difficult, and plus, I strongly, be, uh, I strongly agree with what he said earlier that um, uh, the um, hacking programs are, you know, becoming intense. They're becoming stronger than before. Mm. But um, as they get strong, uh, our, you know, our ITs and researchers as well, other some um, virus, antivirus programs. They also get to be, you know, they also get to be updated, mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. newer versions. Yeah, right. There. Otherwise, like I said, um, we have, we don't, ha we don't really have a choice because we're using, we're using internet. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that um, we have to suffer. But yeah, it's not really a big deal. But if you're, um. Well, our information are being sold online anyway. Mm, mm. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Mm. Uh, I'm going to search for this tool. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. See you, Sunny. Happy See you. Is it Thursday there? Yeah, Thursday oh, afternoon. Mm. Happy Friday tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.